Hello everyone and welcome to NUR 712, Neurobiology and Psychopathology Across the Lifespan. We're going to spend a few minutes discussing the um, neuroanatomy and neurophysiology of the brain. And this is a topic we're going to return to frequently as we go through this course. I just want to take a look right now as, at some beautiful words in, in the Bible. When you think about the brain and everything that it encompasses and just how little we understand, I just thought this scripture was really fitting. I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well. I think that's very true and fitting for, for the study of the brain. So this lecture will focus on the biological processes that play a role in how we think, how we feel, how we react, and ultimately how we behave. Increasingly, the role of the PMHMP requires the application of this knowledge to cl clinical practice. The brain is the most complex part of the human body. This three pound organ is the seat of intelligence, the interpreter of our senses, the initiator of body movements, and controller of behavior. The brain is the source of all qualities that define our humanity, and I'm going to share a little bit about the basic structures that make up the brain and how the brain works. So we're going to talk first kind of about the nervous system, and all human thoughts, feelings, and actions are seated in and start with actions within the nervous system. And as I shared, it's necessary for the PMHMP role to have an understanding of the neuroanatomy and physiology of the brain uh, and neural deficits that underline psychiatric disorders and actions of uh, client responses to psychopharmacological treatment agents um, that, that take place as well. The human brain contains approximately 86 billion neurons and approximately 85 billion glial cells. Neurons most classically consist of the soma or cell body, which you see here, which contains the, the nucleus and usually multiple dendrites, which are processes that extend from the cell body and receive neuro signals from other neurons and a signal single axon, which you see here, which extends from the cell body and transmits to other neurons. Con con connections between neurons are made at axon terminals, or you, or you can see here. And there, the axons of one neuron generally contact the uh, dendrite or cell body of another neuron. Neurotransmitters rele release uh, occurs with axon within axon terminals and is one of the central mechanisms for, for intraneuronal communications and also for the effects of psychotropic drugs, which you'll learn about mostly in another course. And unlike other body cells, neurons stop reproducing shortly after birth. The axon and the dendrites are specialized structures designed to transmit and receive information and the connection between cells are known as synapses. And neurons release chemicals known as neurotransmitters into these synapses to communicate with other neurons. The nervous system is composed of two separate interconnected divisions. You have the central nervous system, which is composed of the spinal cord and the brain. And then you have the peripheral nervous system, which is composed of peripheral nerves that connect to the central nervous system receptors, muscles, and glands. And it includes the cranial nerves just outside of the brainstem. And it comprises the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. The, soma the somatic nervous system conveys information from the CNS to skeletal muscles and is responsible for voluntary movements. The autonomic nervous system 
regulates internal body functions to maintain homeostasis, conveys information from the central nervous system to smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, and glands. It's responsible for involuntary movement divided into the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system, as you see here. And the sympathetic nervous system, it's the excitatory division and prepares the body for fight or flight, simulates or increases activity of the organs. And the parasympathetic nervous system maintains or restores energy and inhibits or decreases activity of organs. We're gonna look a little bit at um, the, the neuroanatomy of the brain.